Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to create a custom birthday calendar right here in Canva so that you never miss a celebration. Let's get right on to it! In case you'd like to create a design with specific dimensions or dimensions of your choice, then go to the Create a Design button on the upper right and then from the drop down select Custom Size and then input your desired dimensions over here as well as your desired unit and once that's done click on create a new design so that you'd be taken to the main editing page as for me i'd like to take a look at some templates that we can use so i'm going to go to the search bar and i'm going to type in here calendar and from the drop down i'm going to click on see all All right, so this is the templates page. So this is where you can choose whatever template you'd like to use for your design. Okay, I think I'd like to use this one. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on customize this template. So that will be taken to the main editing page. And here we are. We actually have a complete set right here from January to December, but we're not going to need that. And I'm going to show you why later on, but we're first going to delete these unnecessary pages. But before we proceed to the designing part, um, in case you change your mind and decide to use a different template instead, you can go to the side panel over here and select another template that you'd like to use. You can scroll down and try to see what template you might like, or you can do a quick search to be able to access the templates you're looking for specifically and faster. So just type it in here. Um, okay, I'm going to get started now. So I'm going to delete the unnecessary elements first. And I'm going to leave this over here and resize my calendar and okay i'm gonna change this text over here to birthday calendar and perhaps we could also adjust the spacing let's see how it's gonna look i'm gonna click on this button and adjust the letter spacing over here wish we could see it better so i'm gonna zoom out oh we still can't let's zoom out again oh there okay let's see perfect just the way i like so i am going to delete these over here and i think i should just keep it this way so yeah to save some time we're gonna keep it this way and we're gonna change the color to whatever color we like so we're gonna start with a background I'm gonna click on an empty area on the page and select this button and from here I can choose whatever color I'd like to use And then I'm also going to select the text so that I can change its color. And then I'm also going to... Um, do we need this? I don't think so. We're going to select everything just like that and delete it. And we're going to resize this. I guess we should adjust the spacing again. Perhaps make it a bit smaller so that we could still add designs later on. And that should be okay. Now, let's align it. Let's align it in the middle. And then let's do that again. Okay, much better. 
All right. I think I cannot really see my um, elements here, so we should choose a, a bit of a darker color. Perhaps this one's okay. All right. And now I'd like to add a frame. So I'm going to go to the elements section and I'm going to type in here frame. And I'm going to choose the circle frame, but you can choose whatever frame you'd like to use. And say, for example, it's your dad's birthday on, for example, the 10th. So you're going to place this frame over here. Make it a bit bigger. And then you can insert a photo of your dad right here. I don't have a photo on my upload section, just a couple of screenshots. But yeah, in case you'd like to use your own photo, of course, if you want to use the photo of your friends and family, then you're going to have to upload it to Canva first. So go to the upload section, click on upload files, and then find them on your computer and then click on open and it'll be uploaded here in Canva. And once it's fully uploaded, you can drag it onto the frame and it'll be inserted right over there. And since I don't have a sample picture to show you, I'm just going to go to the element section and look for a random picture of other, no, dad or father. And I'm going to click on photos then I'm just going to select a random picture over here. Um, a solo picture would be nice, just like this one. And I'm going to drag it into place. I'm going to position it properly. Double click on it. Double click right there. And then drag it into place. And I'm, I'm going to click on done. And then, yes, it's on the 10th. It's not really specific what 10th, what month. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to press T on our keyboard. Hold on. Where is that? So we're going to press T on our keyboard. Here it is. And a text box will appear. So say, for example, your dad's birthday is on April 10th. So you're going to write here April. Oh. And there you go. You can change the font by going to this button here. Change it to whatever font you like. I'd like to go with handwritten. Perhaps this one's okay. It's very easy to read, so we're going to do that. And you can also change your font's color over here. Change it to whatever color you like. There, you can also add um, elements to it. So I'm going to go to graphics and type in birthday. And maybe we could add a party hat. So let's just type here party hat. And select a nice party hat. For dad and place it over here maybe we should flip it I think it looks better when flipped yep and then send it to back position backward then maybe we could also throw in some confetti so <laughs> This one would be okay. Oh, too big. Let's adjust it. And then crop it just to fit the frame. And there. You can do the same thing for others. Let's try one more. So I'm going to go to the elements again and use the same frame. And for example, on the uh, 27th, I'm going to zoom in. And the 27th is your mom's birthday, for example. 
So I'm going to search here, mom, photos. Let's just choose a random, a free and random element. This one would be okay. And we're going to put that here. We're going to place that there. And then we are going to um, copy this or duplicate this, I mean, and say, for example, your mom's birthday is on um, January, January 27th. So you're going to put January over there. And then once again, put some elements. So let's type in birthday, and then graphics, and then maybe we could use a balloon this time. So let's use this one looks really cute and put it right over here let's send it backward and I'd like to change the color of the string so that it's more visible there and of course confetti let's not forget the confetti this one for example This is too much. <laughs> Let's change it to a different one. Okay. And just keep on adding uh, pictures here and there. And then I think our background is looking a bit dry. So let's decorate that with birthday graphic elements. Okay, and once you're happy with your design, go ahead and download it by going to the share button above. Click on download. Select your preferred file type over here. And then make sure to tweak other settings, other download settings according to your preferences. And then finally, click on download. And there you have it. So thanks so much for watching. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. We hope to see you in the next one.